Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Soulcation Podcast. I'm your host, Logan Renee. Uh, today, we're going to talk about three secrets to having high self-esteem. Uh, this will fall under the freedom portion of the Soulcation brand because we focus on freedom, purpose, peace, and self-love. Uh, so what does it mean to even have high self-esteem? Um, I always bounce it off a question, this one question. Who do you want to be? Like, who do you sincerely want to be? Not who you taught to be, who are you encouraged to be, manipulated to be. Who do you want to be? Um, something that Les Brown said that I love. He said, operate out of your imagination, not your history. So let's say your history was you grew up in a uh, area that didn't have the best school system. Y'all had books that were like... 22 years old and um or you grew up in the country or you just grew up in an environment where you weren't handed anything <laughs> you know instead of operating out of the history mindset that i can't make a million dollars or i can't start my own business or i can't write a book that is deception and that is not the truth you can have whatever you choose in your life, whatever it is that you sincerely want. So the question to start off with, if you want to have high self-esteem is, who do I want to be? What do I want to do? You know, what was I purposed here to do? It's not a selfish answer. It's the best question that you can ask yourself so you're not operating in something that's false or something that was placed on you that you're really not called to do. Everything in your life that you touch, you want to be gift, gifted at or put skill set behind it, of course, behind your gift. But you want to be operating in your gift and add things on top of that. Not start with fraudulent things or things that you really have no heart to do um, just to say that you did them, right? So start the, the question. The first question to ask yourself for sure is, who do you want to be? Do you want to be a doctor just because your sister is an attorney? You know, do you want to prove something to your parents? Like I am the smart sister or I am the brother that can get it together and be successful. You know, are you still trying to prove things to your parents? Are you trying to prove st stuff to your line brothers or your line sisters or people you went to college with? Why are you trying to prove anything to anybody at this age? Why? Ask yourself truly why and ask yourself, who do I want to be? Do I sincerely want to be this person? Will I be proud of this person? You know, do you want to have kids just because of social media? Like it just looks cute to dress up the baby and put on a little hat and have them go to sleep and a little pitch. You know, do you sincerely want to have kids? Some people should have asked themselves that. It wouldn't be so many scarred and broken kids had parents said, all right, let's think about this. You know what I'm saying? There are some people that are the sweetest people that I've met in my life that cannot have kids. And there are people, I used to work in social, my first job out of college was working at a at an agency. And I was um, along, I was going to the homes, to group homes with a social worker. Uh, Y'all, I cry every day. Every day, every day. It just broke my heart. It was so sad beautiful kids and their parents was they were throwing hot water on them or burning them yeah it was a and i'm like how did this how sway why you know and of course those are the kids that grow up and become senators and presidents and doing amazing things at the same time ask yourself why do you want these things why do you really really want these things one of my best friends was like um I never really asked myself why I want to be married, why I want kids. Like, what? why do I really want these things? Is it because I grew up in the South and the mindset is this is what you're supposed to have or you're not normal or you're not enough or you're not smart or you're not special or you're not chosen? Is it, is it culture that is making you think you want these things? Or have you sat back and looked at your life and said, do I really want this? Okay, if I really want this, am I working on becoming the person that can attain this or sustain this? You know, am I willing to adjust my life? Am I willing to adjust my budget? Because <laughs> you're going to have to. The question is, why do you want to be a wife? Why do you want to join the sorority? 
why do you want to be a part of the association to put it on the resume or actually add to the association you know and the real question is where do you want to be in five years and that person today who you are right now are you going to be proud of that picture that you paint in the next five years esteem has a foundation of knowing why you want to do something and who you truly want to be and not asking anybody else what they think honestly answering the question who do i want to be who do i want to serve what is it that i really want to do do i want to add these things to my life because it looks good it sounds good or is this really attached to what i'm supposed to be doing with my life that's number one actually i'm gonna give you all a bonus if you click on the link in the show notes, I'm going to give you um, my sheet that I, I use every single day as a reminder of who I'm really called to be, not who people tell me I should be. Uh, I'm going to share that list with you all. Just click on the link in the show notes. Um, number two, believe that you can choose whatever you want. Y'all, all of my little, okay. Believe that you get to choose. Sincerely believe that you get to choose. If you're an adult, taking care of yourself with a sound mind, you get to choose where you live, you get to choose how much money you make, you get to choose how many vacations you go on, you have, your, you have permission to live the life that you choose. Nobody taught us that. It's like the standard is you only get two weeks of vacation uh, and you divide it out between the year and that's it. That's not true. Freedom is creating the life that you want to live. God did not say, hey, kids, go down there to that thing I call earth and have somebody else structure your life. That is fraudulent, and that is not what he had in mind. It's not. <laughs> he did not design you to be on somebody else's clock, watch, or manipulate into a certain schedule. That is not what abundance looks like. That is not what freedom looks like. Purpose and peace would never be attached to that type of lifestyle. No, consider not forgetting that you hold all the cards and you have all the power. You have permission to choose your schedule. Even if you have a full-time job, when you get off work, you get to design what you do after work. Sometimes I have to gas myself up, coffee myself up, do some jumping jacks. I go to the bathroom, y'all, I'll do some some jump squat, something to wake me up. Because once you've given your energy to, you know, a company or to a business <laughs> that's not yours, you've exerted yourself already. So you have to gas yourself up if you're gonna leave your nine to five to go work on your purpose, go work on your dream. You have to find different uh, creative ways, you know, to juice yourself up so you can work on what it is that you want in your life, your brand, your business, your book, your blog, whatever it is that you want to work on outside of your nine to five. Or if you want to take your nine to five to the next level, you want to be the CEO or CFO or whatever. You know, studying the company in and out, studying other companies. So when you go into the room and you say, hey, not only do I deserve the promotion, this is how we can save money. You know, this is how we can take this, you know, company to a, to a whole nother level. People will pay you if you're a solution to a problem. They will. They, put, they pay people all the time. I was listening to a podcast where this guy literally is paid to go to, multi, to different hotels and give the corporate office like feedback on what he, can, what he saw that they can improve on. I mean, coins. To go look at something and be like, oh, mm -mm, y'all using too many tiles on the third floor. Like, <laughs> saving these people all type of money. You know, even if it's in your career, look at how you can take that to the next level or if it's in your business, outlining the schedule and contouring your life so it fits the first question that I ask you, who do you want to be? What is it that you want to do? Is that the question? Let me make sure y'all, because I'll make up a question quick. Yeah, who you want to be? <laughs> and make sure you're operating in that. Number three, this is so important. This is so important. When I went on my self-love journey in 2014, um, I was told by one of my coaches to write down the things I love and I like about myself. The things that I love, the things that I like about myself. So I'm gonna challenge you all to do the same thing. Within 24 hours, 
Okay, so you're driving and you're going to work, please don't <laughs> write it down while you drive. Okay. Um, I challenge you to pull over, not pull over. Let's go to work. <laughs> go to work, get the on time child, but go to the bathroom. Put your stuff down as soon as you get to work and go in the bathroom, pull out your notes, pull out Evernote, pull out Workflowy. Those are all notes, those are all apps that you can like put notes in. My favorite three apps, that's why I named them. Uh, but Evernote is my absolute favorite. And write down everything that comes to mind when, when you think of you. What is it that you love about yourself? What is it that you like about yourself? Is it your smile? Is it your personality? Is it your humor? Is it the atmosphere that you set? Is it your swag? Is it your style? Is it how you love people, how you treat people, how you give, how you serve? You know, is it the fact that you are a safe haven? Are you a comforter for some people? You know, um, that you just always desire to help. Like, what is it about you that you like, I see you? Because you know how you see other people like, oh, she's just so sweet, she kind, she humble, she loving. When it comes to other people, we can flow. Flow for yourself. Are you compassionate? Write all the things that you admire about yourself. You like Because the things that you like about yourself, you attract in other people. So if you don't like that, if you, you're bringing out things that you always don't like, you end up surrounding yourself around those people unconsciously for sometimes. So pull out the things that you like about yourself. And I'm going to challenge you all in the next 24 hours. If you don't do it when you get to work or you got to go run errands or do some groceries or whatever you got to do, um, I challenge you in the next 24 hours to make a list of the things that you admire about yourself, things that you like about yourself. Please, please, please write this down. It's going to help you so much. Let's do a small little recap. Oh, the resource for this book, my favorite book in all the land. If you don't read anything but page six, okay? I think it's page six or page eight. I think it's six, though. Child, <laughs> you have changed your whole year, okay? You have changed your whole life. Page six of this book, it's six or eight, <laughs> um, is everything. Literally every line on that page is highlighted, but it's called The Courage to Be Yourself by Sue Patton. I always crush her last name, so we're just going to do Sue Patton. It'll pop up when, when you type in her name, but The Courage to Be Yourself. The Courage to Be Yourself. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you uh, today. Uh, make sure you share this episode with your closest, closest friends, um, anybody that's been going back and forth with how they see themselves. Make sure you send this episode to them. Leave five stars on this episode. Make sure you rate it and give me feedback. As well as, if you have any questions, um, send them into the podcast uh, at logan at loganrenee.com and I will do a questions episode just for you. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for today and I will catch you all next time on the Soul Cation Podcast. Hope you all have a good one. Bye-bye.